Okay, uh, we modify our lawnmower that you can cut the grass with a remote control. We make the cart. This cart has a multi-purpose. One of them is we can hook up the lawnmower to it and cut the grass. The other one, for instance, we can put a board in top of it and moving the heavy stuff till about 160, 70 pounds. Uh, uh, the frame by itself plus the two wheels just the frame and the two wheels it weight about 35 pounds each wheels and motor in a back is about 25 pounds each battery is about 25 pounds so the frame battery batteries and the two motors with the wheels uh, weight about 130 pounds And then we add the weight of the lawnmower that is about 100 pounds. I did not uh, make any hole in a lawnmower to hook them up to this cart. I used the existing holes. The only thing that we modify on the lawnmower, we took the back two wheels off. And these are the back two wheels. It has, each one has one screw and then they're coming off. If you take a look at in the back, it has multiple holes on it because the manufacturer they're using those holes to install the different type of wheels. I use one of those to hook up the uh, anchor that is hanging the lawnmower to the cart. Same thing happened for the front and I did not even take the front wheels off. I could take the handle off, I didn't even take the handle off. I kept the lawnmower as it is. No holes, no modification have been done on the lawnmower. The only thing, as I mentioned, was taking the back wheels off because it was on the way. So, uh, let's just talk about the controller right in here in the back. We have a control box right in here. It has a three wire. One is going to be for power. One for the right model. Easily, you can remove this thing and working on it. If you want to, again, you can bring them back and connect in the left and the right motor with this connector back. So for the antenna, because the antenna wire on the receiver side is just this wire, I use the hanger, I use the metal hanger right in here. I clip them off. I screw that right in here, wrap the antenna around it, put a shrink wrap in top of it and shrink them. So that the antenna can be stand vertically like this for the better reception. As far as the smoothness of the system, let me just show you something. This tool is causing, I cut the, this uh, latch that is causing to be uh, engaging the gear or releasing the wheels. Right now it's in a release format, so I can just move them by one finger right in here. Easily I can move them to the left or right right in here and we are in a slope actually so it's the way that the car does work when we want to use all we are engaging the gears we're just rotating this and rotating the other one back this thing is already engaged we can plug them in and The system is ready to go. It's the, it's the transmitter, receiver is in there. I use the two battery, each one of these batteries. Get this one too. Each one of these batteries is a 35 amp, 12 volt. I put them in a series to generate the 24 volt. And it's the way that it does work. Go back, it doesn't hit you. It's going down the hill, if I let it go, it will stop. Goes down the hill, let it go, it stop. It can come back and it can rotate. Okay? It's the way that the system works. You can do it 
gonna turn it in a spot. With movement of this joystick, back, forward, left, right. Back, forward, left, right. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the lawnmower and we try to see how this thing is gonna cut the grass. So for to doing so, put this thing down, turn on the chalk, and let's see if this thing gonna come out. Oh have to engage this. Now, if you want to do the, any adjustment for the height, the height of the lawnmower, as you see right now, the front wheel is very much off the ground. It doesn't do nothing because this, this wheel is being used for the front. This is going to be, I made them like this, is going to go inside this eye uh, uh, bolt right in here that I do have, which is screwing this thing down or up. It's going to cause the level to go down or up. These are very easy to move by the hand. So you can do the height adjustment. You can have them from the inch till about seven inches. I can bring them up till seven inches. The same thing for the back. The back are very easy to be moving by the hand for height adjustment. These are about half an inch bolt. I bought them from the Home Depot. And the screw, the knots, the knots, I got them longer knots that it'd be easier to handle, you know. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else. A lawnmower, we did, as I said, no modification on it. I weld these two wheels. These wheels are five inch wheels right to the frame. The frame is being built out of the uh, two by two profile. They're using it for fencing. Again, I bought this one from Home Depot. They are selling it for the house fencing. And the uh, two motor being installed in a 90 degree angle metal as you see right in here shows this is screws right in here I use four of these screws to tie each motors and that's about it let's see actually this is very agile you can see how fast it's moving look let's just... very responsive go down the hill and let's see how far it can go Oh, it's a keep going. 